So, um, so I want something really cute and basic. I want to be a basic bitch today. So I'm going to... Hey guys, how are y'all feeling today? We got some really good news, didn't we? Didn't we get some good news today? So congratulations, Vice President Harris. That's all I got to say about that. Black Girl Magic at its best. Right? Black or magic is best. I'm super excited about that. So today we're gonna to do a simple quick um look, you know, for girls who have you know who go on dates. I don't go on no dates, but for girls who do, <laughs> this look is for you. And so just get ready with me and vibe a little bit. Alright, so I went ahead and as you know, I always do my eyebrows off of camera because this one. I mean, my eyebrows are some bitches, so I don't feel like fighting with them on the camera, wasting up my memory, fighting with these damn eyebrows. So I do my eyebrows off camera. Y'all didn't miss anything anyway. So, um, so I want something really cute and basic. I want to be a basic bitch today. So I'm going to use my favorite palette, the Jackie Ina um, Beverly Hills palette. And this is going to be something really simple. I'm not going to be extra today. I'm extra any other day, but today I'm not going to be extra. So I already put the concealer, which is I use the ColourPop concealer. And I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow um, pomade. So, uh, yeah, I just want something really simple. Nothing like extra. I don't want to be extra all the damn time. You know, sometimes I got to chill the fuck out. And, that's, and today's one of those days. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the ginger on the crease right here so y'all this election took like 50 million years right it took a long ass time and i was following it like the day of the election i was up like i didn't have to go to work the next day and i'm one of those people that if i don't get sleep i'm a pure bitch you know so uh so next day i was a pure bitch because i didn't get no sleep didn't make any progress and i kept waking up to check on stuff and then one of my friends uh called me when it was announced i have a friend that doesn't live in texas so when it was announced that texas which was uh showing up blue for a little bit but that texas you know was in favor of trump she called to tell me that and i'm like girl i could have you know don't don't disturb my sleep with that because i live in texas i already know how that shit goes you know what i'm saying so i digress um but yeah, so like we followed this, um, so I'm sorry, I put ginger right here and I'm gonna go ahead with credit. So yeah, we followed, me and a couple of my friends, we were like really heavy following this election and then it went to day one, it went to day two, day three. Now we on Saturday. So by Saturday, I was like, shit, we're not gonna find out. We ain't gonna find out who won the presidency until Christmas. So I'm like, it's gonna be a Christmas present or be a piece of coal on Christmas Day to find out who the fuck won, right? So, um, I stopped following it. I started watching YouTube, trying to get into Christmas spirit, something about doing Vlogmas. So I was watching people's other, you know, other people do Vlogmas to, you know, try to get inspired, get some ideas and stuff. Um, then I get a text saying, you know, Biden won. And I was like, how the fuck did I miss this? Because I've really been following this election. I've been following it all week. Well, you know, more than that. But, so I was like, how did I miss this? Like, seriously, I should have been the one texting people. But, you know, I'm going to tell you the truth. And if you're negative or if you have anything negative to say, just go ahead and click out of the video because this is a positive place. You know, I like positivity. I don't like negativity. I don't like Debbie Downers or none of that kind of stuff, you know. But I was, I'm more so excited about Harris, okay. And let me explain to you why. Um, especially if you're African American and you're African American woman, you know that it doesn't matter how educated you are, how smart you are, how well spoken you are, how well you know the job, it is always going to be extremely hard for us. It's going to be hard for us to do, we have to be 10 times better just to be average, okay? So to see, to see a black woman be able to be vice president or to even, okay, let's step back, to see a woman be, uh, to even, 
hit the milestone she hit prior to this. I know how hard it is for her. And people are gonna bring up the fact that she's mixed, all this great stuff. But if she gets pulled over, she's a black woman. So just to see her hit these milestones, to do these different things, because I know firsthand these type of things are difficult. I know that firsthand. It's hard to reach these type of milestones. It's amazing to me. And that's why I was... Hmm, I was about to show y'all something. Um, but that's why I was super excited because I know how difficult it is for you to do these type of things. And I just wanted to break down and cry because I didn't I didn't think this was gonna happen at all. Um, especially I mean I mean seeing a black woman as a vice president at 32 years of age, no, I didn't. And especially to go from somebody who was super racist, you know, to now we have a, a female black vice president y'all come on man come on you know and this paves the way for other females other females of color like this is huge and she went to a hbcu unfortunately i didn't go to hbcu i do have my master's degree but i didn't i mean i didn't i didn't go to hbcu and i wish that was an experience that i would have you know i wish i'd have had that experience and I hope that my daughter does. Like, I'm going to take it to all the HBCUs and I want her to see, you know, experience different things that I, at the time, wasn't really fam familiar with, you know. Um, but to see that, I just wanted to break down crying because I'm going to be honest with you. I was, I'm not a big Biden fan whatsoever, especially his, his little funny little comments, which now I know he's not really a good um speaker he's not a, he's not that bit he's not that good of a speaker so choosing her was definitely the right thing for his ass because um sorry i went in with pinker and now i'm putting shocking shooking shookington on the middle of my lids but yeah so he's not a really good um i'm in the purple mood because you know what the last couple looks i've had have been on the purple side I need to grow up. Um, but yeah, he's not the best. I feel like I need to put some brown in there. Yeah, he's not the best public speak. Um, to me, he he doesn't have. He's not that great um, at public speaking. So uh, it was definitely smart of him to choose her. It's definitely a smart strategic move of, uh, move of him to choose her to help. Hey, girl. Girl, I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking like somebody's there. Um, <laughs> hey girl. All right, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna highlight this top. I got this from Torrid on my, my Torrid haul that I'm, that's coming on, that's coming later on this month. Um, this is the finished look. The only thing we have to do now is to put on that good stuff. So I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm gonna do a purple. Well, I'm just in a purple mood. Purple's not even my favorite color. I didn't give a damn about purple. So I don't know why I'm in a purple mood. I can give a damn about some purple. Um, I'm not doing any lip liners because A, my my uh pencil sharpener grew legs. Went into my daughter's boot bag probably. That's probably where it rolled to. Her book bag um so i i don't have anything to sharpen my my tools with i just don't now my hair was done by my hairdresser glam Nita, and she has a youtube channel too um it's nita danell n-i-t-a danell but this is my hair she she cuts up on some hair okay um but yeah this is the finished look these are my what the hell earrings these are from Kendra Scott earrings. And so, yeah, I'm going to head out the door, but I do appreciate you for watching. And, and please, if you like my personality, if you're not offended by cussing, like and subscribe. Thank you.